Jungle Boy, I'm gonna keep it real with you, bud. I really didn't appreciate when you interrupted my rebar mitzvah. I mean, on the sly, kind of a Kanye move on your part. Just a, just a little bit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're from St. Louis, okay? Things aren't exactly forward thinking around here. But I'll tell you this, there was one thing you said that really stuck to my craw. You said that after our match at Double or Nothing 2020, that our career paths were very different. You had the audacity to say that I had it easy? Really? Okay. You had the audacity to say that I just got to waltz my way up to the top of the card? You had the audacity to say that this place is the MJF show. And let me tell you something. No. And guess what, Jack? You're right. My job's a joke, dude. I barely wrestle. I barely break a sweat. I get to come out here, and I get to absolutely obliterate these losers. I walk to the back. I collect a fat check. I get on my fat Learjet back home to the most magical place in the world known as Long Island, New York, which we will be going to next week. Tickets still available, AEWTix.com. Don't miss it, baby. And then there's your career after our match, Jack. Let's be honest, it's been kind of mid. But I'll give you credit, I'll give you credit. You worked your ass off, man. You scratched and you clawed your way back up the ladder here in AEW by having standout match after standout match, leaving blood, sweat, and tears in this ring for these fans. I'm honest. But I don't recall these people ever saying thank you to you, Jack. <laughs> too little, too late, St. Louis. And I also don't recall you being rewarded with all that much TV time either. So you know what? You have every right to be pissed, Jack. But here's the problem. You have no right to be pissed at me. You have no right to even be pissed at this company. The only person you should be pissed at is yourself. Allow me to explain. After our match at Double or Nothing 2020, when we stole the show, when we went to war in 95 degree weather in Jacksonville, Florida, all to prove we were the future of this sport, I walked to the back and I had a foreign funny feeling for the first time in my career I felt like I had just met my equal inside this ring. For the first time in my career, I felt like I had met the man I would be waging war with for the rest of my life. For the first time, I met a man inside this ring that I respected. So I swallowed my pride, I found you in the back that night, and I shook your hand. Do you remember what I said to you that night? I gave you very, very pertinent advice, Jack. Do you recall what I said? Let me see. Let me see if I can remember the advice that I got from the great MJF. What did you say to me? You told me I had all the skills, I had all the potential in the world, blah, 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 but what did you say? You said, nice guys always finish last. And you told me that if I ever wanted to be as big and successful as you, what did I have to do? I had to ditch all of my friends and not care about anybody but myself. Is that right? Is that what you told me? That is, that is actually literally what I told you, Jack. And what did you go on to do? You continued to hang out with Marco Stunted Growth, <laughs> Dino Douche, and to make matters worse, Christian Cage, good call, by the way, great call. All those guys, Jack, they held you back. And by the way, don't think your new pal Hook will be any different either. You could have listened to me. You could have listened to me, Jack. You could have followed me to the top of the mountain. We could have ran this place. 
You could have been a world champion. This place could have been not just the MJF show, but the Jack Perry show. But no, nah, man, no. You just had to be the good guy for these people? Really? These people? They might chant your name, Jack, but let me ask you this question. Where has it gotten you? Where has being a good guy gotten you? Because here we stand, three years later, and I'm the best professional wrestler in the world. I'm the man that holds the grandest prize of them all, the Triple B. I'm the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. And well, you, you're still just Jungle Boy. You know what, if, I, if I'm being honest for a second, a long, long time ago, I thought that maybe, somehow, some way, you and I are maybe gonna be friends. And I'll be very honest, Max, in a lot of ways, I wish I was more like you. I wish I could talk like you do. I wish I had the confidence that you have I wish that I didn't care about anybody else but myself. I wish that I didn't care about lying and stabbing people in the back to get what I want. I wish that I didn't care about being the most selfish, narcissistic piece of shit in this entire place. Shoe fits, man. Oh, Max. yeah. Oh, yeah. But you know what? That ain't me. And if my road to the top of the mountain is harder than yours because of it, then so be it. Because I'm going to do it my way. And when I beat you, when I become the AEW world champion, well, at least I won't wake up alone every day and hate the person that I see in the mirror. <laughs> 